So what's up Freedom Foods family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are, it's one of the busiest days of the year, it's time for the cows to go on hay. Steers not so much yet, they still got about another week so I'm gonna push it with them. They can go another week around. Um, the cows on the other hand need to go on hay and while we're at it with the cows almost, not all of them, but almost all of our calves are gonna get weaned today too, just cause it's time, they're ready, and uh, this is the best setup in the corrals for us to do it. But in order for us to do, to do that, we have stuff we have to prepare for first. Horses are already fed, don't worry about them, they're good. Now we're rapidly going into our winter mode cause stockpiled this year with the drought is basically non-existent. So we're going into winter mode with all of our animals. That means that we're getting them off pasture, we're moving them onto hay, but we do a deep bedding system here and we have to move certain animals away from certain animals, such as the calves and their mamas. That also goes for the female llamas and the male llamas. You can't put them together. Um, right now, our newest llama here, Mrs. Robinson, their older llama, is in with Littlefoot. But she and Priscilla, it goes that way, are going to be moving into here, this uh, this corral here. And this is also going to be what we're going to call the nursery, um, the nursery corral, because we're just going to feed the llama square bells, just because it's easier. They they eat like basically nothing every day. Like I mean, the the they eat the lowest percentage of any of their body weight of almost any farm animal which is pretty cool. So they're real easy to take care of, but we need to get the llamas in here first before we bring the cows in, because then it's a whole lot of drama and we're trying to move 30 animals around rather than two. So let's get that going, see if we can get Mrs. Robinson in here, and uh, let's uh, see how long this takes. Well, buddy, I hope you got your job done, because your brother misses you, and it's time for Mrs. Robinson to go. And I thought, that I, I think that I've seen them do it enough to where they're going to be uh, more than good. Huh, okay, can you go down that way? Can we make it real easy? You see that new opening? No, you don't see it. Come on. Come on, go. Go back down that way. There we go, good girl. Come on. No, 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 no. 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 There we go. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 easy, it's going to be your idea to go over there, no, I'm going to try and get, trying to get angles, this is where, this is the day that I get my utility in, she is not handled, okay, no, 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 turn around, ah, go, ah, Okay, see if he gets over there, and maybe she will too. See, that's a pretty good strategy. See, good boy. Good boy. See, good boy. Now go with Littlefoot. Okay? See? Littlefoot's a good boy. There you go. No. No. Littlefoot, that's not your boyfriend. That's not your boyfriend, that's Elvis. Come on, show her. Show her. Now we're getting to the don't try this at home part of the broadcasting here. I'm gonna let all the Longhorns in with Elvis and the llamas. We're just gonna go try and sort them all and I might have to wrestle a llama or two. <sighs> here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, let me take this down. Hey, cows! Come on, cow cows, come on, let's go! Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows, here we go. Come on, cow cows, come on! 
four. Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows! Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows! Yes, Rusty, you're here. Come on, cows! Elvis, that means you too! Especially you! Come on, cows! Come on, cow cows, come on! Elvis, be smart! Come on, cows! Go. Come on, Daphne. Actually, that might actually work out. Okay, that might actually work out. Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on over here! Come on, cows! Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows! Mrs. Robinson doesn't know what to do with all the cows. Come on, cow cows, come on! Come on, cows! Everybody out, good boy, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, go. Go, go. Everybody out, go. Jordan, go. Jordan, no. Jordan, go. Jordan, Jordan. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, buddy, good boy. Let's go, everybody out. Everybody out, let's go. Everybody out, let's go. Come on, go. Out. Means you too, Dolly. Go. Go, Bucky. Jordan, go. Everybody out. You guys know what that means. Go, Skywalker. Go, Bucky. Bucky, let's go. Come on. Everybody out. Come on. There we go. Everybody out. Come on, Bucky. No, Bucky, you gotta go. Come on. Everybody out. Get into the corrals. Let's go. Come on. Everybody out. Let's go. Uh uh, you too, Rusty. Everybody means everybody. Let's go. Let's go. There we go, Ellie. Lead them in. Go. Go. Go, Bucky. There we go. There we go. Come on. Everybody, you too, Scarlet. Come on. Come on, non horns. Long horns, non horns. Let's go. Strawberry. Strawberry. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go. Come on, Tiger. It means you too. Everybody means everybody. Let's go. Go. Everybody. Uh -uh, no, that means you too. That means you too. Go. Go. Everybody. Uh -uh, go. 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 Everybody means everybody. Come on, Dolly. Stop holding it up. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. There we go. And, okay. Progress has been made. There's so many steps to this. Now I gotta go move hay in first before, uh, before I get, before I start working on the cows. Because it's easier to move hay in to a paddock without cows than a whole bunch of cows trying to follow you while you're uh, trying to get the hay in and keep the gates closed. Much easier without them. Let's go with this. Okay.
And that, three bales. All right, lost the sweatshirt, got some water, and Luke, you decided to join the party, huh, Elvis? Can we herd you guys down? Is that gonna be possible? Let's see. Hey, buddy. Good job, buddy. Go on down, go on down. Go on down. Go on down. Go on down. Hey, can you and your brother go on down? Be great. No. Elvis. Little foot. Go. No. Okay. We'll let them get it all out of their system and then we'll uh, we'll get them all straight away. Cows are the most important thing right now. You guys gonna make it easy on me? I need you to back up. So I'm gonna show everybody how this is done. How we do things are easy on the, uh, 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 you're not yet, I know, you, you. I think you know the drill. Back up, everybody back, everybody back. See, we close this gate here. Then we can bring them in one on one. And Jordan is gonna make it really easy on me today, aren't you buddy? Aren't you? See, I can get them in here and uh, what I can do is I have a note section in my phone that I have for each each cow. Oh shoot, I didn't know Joe was in here. You know what, Joe? You're gonna end up being, he's the only one that's not gonna get, easy buddy, easy buddy. Okay, hang on. Okay, he's the only one that's not gonna get weaned. Um, because he's not young, he's not old enough yet. So I'm gonna go over and do all my note section with Jordan. And he's doing great. And then uh, we'll turn him, what we'll do is open these, uh, open this gate right here, and then he is going to go over here with the big cows. And so are you, little buddy, huh? You know, are you going to follow your daddy? Okay. Okay, took my notes for Jordan. He's all good. Now we're going to let him, come on, buddy. We're going to let him through. Easy as that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Jordan, uh, being in here with him. Okay, easy, easy. Hey, I know, I know, you don't like being this close either. Come on, come on, cow, cow. Come on. All right, dude, come on. He's the only one that a little makes me nervous just because he's a bull. Come on. Come on. Don't be stupid, let's go. Come on, buddy boy, let's go. There we go. Frank. No, not Frank. Oh, I wish we had Frank. Joe, you are about two weeks from being weaned. You're still a little bit too small. That's your mama. She's going to freak out right now when I send you off with your daddy. Go on. Go with your daddy. Go on. Go on. You're the only one that's not getting weaned today. That a boy. Good job, buddy. See, this is the process that we got to go through for all of them. Scarlett, you want to go next so you can go with your buddy, your, your, your baby? Yeah, you do. Okay, good girl. Come on. Come on. No, no. Okay. Hey, Betty, be nice. <sighs> okay, come on. All right, then. If you want to come, come. Let's go. You want to be a jerk to Scarlett? Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Betty. Come on, Betty. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You know the drill. You know how this is done. Yeah, there we go. You've been through this before. No, no, no. Good girl. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You don't. I know. Okay. She doesn't like these more than any of them because she had to be in here for shots when uh, when she lost that cast. I know. Okay. So. Gonna do my notes on Betty and let her through. It's okay. You're not getting shots today, okay? I know, baby. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Come on, Betty. You know the drill. Come on, baby. Come on, big girl. Let's go. Hey. Come on. There we go. Easy enough, right? There we go. 
All right, let's see who's next. Daphne, Ruby, any, either of you want to come on? Come on. Come on, Daphne. Come on, girl. Don't tell me anybody's got in the barn. Oh, come on, guys. They like to be. Let's see real quick. Make sure but nobody's gotten in here. Because they like to be troublemakers. Okay. You troublemaker. I knew you were a troublemaker. Come on. Rusty. Uh, come on. I really need to shut this up. Come on. Come on, Rusty. Let's go. Rusty, let's go. Rusty. Good boy. Come come on. It's okay. Let, come on, Rusty. Rusty. I can open it from that side, but then I have to get in there with him. I really don't want to get into that little spot of the long, with the long one. Come on, Rusty. Come on, Rusty. Come on. Let's see if I push him up this way. Come on, Rusty. Rusty. You make everything difficult, buddy. Go. I'm, these stalls are not for you. Go. Rusty. Go. Rusty! Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go around. No, not you too. You get out. You get, no. I'm not, no, we're not doing, hey, hey, easy! We're not doing this today. We are really, let's see, these things for the barn are not the greatest. I think Rusty's in this one. Am I right? No, wrong one, shoot. Rusty is in this one that I tied. Right. Where did he go now? Did he try to come out? Yeah, he's trying to come out. Great. Okay, here, Rusty. Where you at, buddy boy? Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, cows, you guys are always so much trouble. There we go, see? Get up. Get out. There we go. Funny, funny, funny creatures. And look at that. Strawberry is uh, waiting for me. Perfect. Look at that. So now, you give me next tiger? All you gotta do, come here, shut this, and you, Missy, how pregnant are you? We need to see. See how pregnant you are, okay? Okay, I think you're doing okay. Look. Come on. Go on. Okay, you're done. You're a good girl, come on. Go ahead. There we go. But this is exactly how I separate, sort, and take notes. Come on, baby. You guys next? You're next. Come on. Come on. Come on. You did a good job. You're done being a mama. No, for, for now. No, okay. You're still being a mama for a little bit. Daphne, your turn. Daphne, come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on, girl. Come on. Okay, you don't want to. Okay. Rusty's the one that wants to go. Rusty's good. Look at him bounce. Look at that belly bounce. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Get, get over there. You're fine. You're fine, okay. Rusty, easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Easy. You know the, you know the drill with this? Rusty, your date is coming up in... Uh, July, easy, you're gonna kick. You can tell he's about to twitch, he's switching there. It's okay, his date is coming up in July, and he's probably gonna be one of the first ones. Uh, 
processed. So we're gonna see what the numbers come out with our longhorn beef. And look at that belly, look at that belly jiggle. See? Some people say you can't get beef off the of longhorn. Those people are trying to sell you something else. But I'm here to tell you, that especially with beef longhorns, like these guys are, not the skinny longhorns. See, when it comes to longhorns, you either get horn or you get meat. That guy, good horn or meat. Most of these, not a lot of horn, but a lot of beef, which I'm perfectly happy with. Can we push you all out? Okay, who's next? Who's next? Let's see, Scarlett, you're stressed and you want to get back with Joe. So why don't we get you going with Joe? Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, El Ellie, easy girls. Easy girls, okay. See? Okay, one at a time, please. One at a time. Okay, you know what? We can do both of them at the same time. Because these are two of my best cows. By far my best cows. Her, these, these two and Rose, I think, raise great babies. And uh, they hold condition, look at that. And, uh, I'll take my notes in my head with them and I'll put it on the paper right now so I can get them out of here. But Ellie, okay, you have a couple more weeks of being a mama to Joe. Ellie, you're done. Congratulations. You raised a great calf in Rosemary. Okay, good girl. Come on. You raised a great calf. What a good girl. You're done. You're done. See? Look. That's what you call a great calf right there. That's her baby. Okay, it's all done. It's all done. See, that's a, a nine month old calf right there. Okay, Rosemary's nine months old. Okay, she's more than ready to be weaned. That over there, Joe, is five and like three quarters months. So I'd like to get him into at least six months, but what I'm doing is I'm letting him stay with his mama so he can just get a little bit more milk. And then in a couple weeks, um, we'll separate him out. And I'd like to ideally have him separated out already. But with this freeze that just happened, the grass has stopped growing. Um, we're, we're, we didn't get a chance to grow any stockpile because of this drought. Um, ideally, I'd like to separate them out now. One, just convenience. That'd be great. And then two, I don't like, I really don't like having calves in with bigger cows when they're on hay. One, it's okay. Uh, if it was brand new, if, it, if he's a newborn, he's going over here with the llamas. With the mama, of course. And uh, they can, you know, that's kind of a nursery. But uh, I, I don't like that for a couple weeks because he's five and a half months old. He's big enough to where he can handle it. Really no problem. Um, that's why I'm doing it. But ideally, um, I'd wean him right now. But I'd rather have him have the milk. Well, to, it's not really a big risk because he's big enough, but I'd rather just have it all in one shot. All right, baby, you ready? Okay, take some notes on you. You are a little bit skinny, but that's what she does. She goes in and out. She goes skinny and then she goes fat. She goes skinny and she goes fat. Um, what happens is last year, this last spring, she had a mineral deficiency. That's when we started getting um, the mineral blocks out for her and the high magnesium mineral especially in the springtime when it's just rye grass that's up so she goes fat she goes skinny but she raised a great calf in Tex over there and now she's done easy girl easy girl all right let's see who's next Skywalker you are staying you're gonna be the leader of the the weanling crew and because I've seen you try and steal a little bit of milk from your mama still. So you're, no, 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 you're not, you're not going. No, you're not going. Dude, you're not going. No, you're, you're really not. Okay, come on. You're not going, come on, dude. You gotta get out of here. Skywalker, 
I don't know if you guys noticed in Skywalker, but he's starting to get little nubs. Those are called scurs. They're not really horns. Kind of horns. Not really horns. Okay, you guys switch places. There you go. No, 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 no. Bucky, Bucky, Bucky. Oh, come on. Okay, come on. Skywalker, you're staying. Yoli. No, no, no. Come on. Go up there. Go up there. Good girl. What a good girl you are. There we go. That's my girl. Easy. Easy girl. It's okay. Easy. You're only here. You're done. Congratulations. You raised Nugget. And it's all good. Easy girl. It's all good. Good girl. Okay, let me. Okay, easy. Get out of here. You're done. Good job. Good job. There we go. Alright, Ruby, come on. Come on, Ruby, you're next. I have a feeling that you're gonna be moving back in here a lot sooner rather than later. Because she's still due to have a baby. And look, she looks like she's <laughs> she looks like she's about to burst with the belly. But her bag hasn't dropped yet. But that's okay. Sometimes heifers take a while for it to drop. So I don't know when she's gonna have a baby. But I know it's gonna be soon. Huh, look at that. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, good job. Let's, uh, let's make you have a baby. I know there's one right there. For sure. Look. Oh, no. That's from moving. So, sometimes you can actually see them um, move in their bellies. Alright, come on. Time to go. Have your baby and then you'll get back over here soon enough. Let's go, come on. Come on, it's okay. That's a girl, that a girl. That a girl, good job, good job. Come on, sheep, let's go. No, you're not, me, you? Come on, sheep, go sheep, go sheep. Come on, sheep. Okay, there we go. That's my girl. Sheep had the last baby on the farm. But easy, it's okay. Easy, easy. I know she's she's just not herself. See, her baby had a four four and a half months old, something like that. I was killed by a mountain lion. And that was Frank Frankenstein, because she it was a half Longhorn, half Charlet Brangus. Um, but she's just she's still not herself but hopefully this winter she comes back into heat and we'll do it all over again okay i promise well the next time it'll come out much better okay i know there's a beautiful calf look like nugget right over there and what's terrible was is that i was going to keep him as a bull because I like the, I wanted to see what would happen with the, the cross genetics, and uh, just happens. I know, baby. It's okay. Come on, you're good. You did a good job. You did a very good job. Good girl. There we go. All right, pretty boy, let's go. Come on, tiger. Man, his coat is just getting more and more every single day. Just more and more impressive. I don't know if we're gonna process him or not. See that belly? Man, makes him for some great beef, but that is something special right there. Easy, easy. He's grown out a lot. His horns have come in big time. Okay, you're a good boy. Easy, easy. Man, look at that. That is impressive. I wish he was a bull. I don't know why. They steered them easy, easy, easy. Here we go right now. Watch it. There we go. 
go. You act up, we'll eat you. Okay? That's the deal. See, this way that I sort everything out in these corrals make everything so easy. It's very, very low stress on me. Very low stress on the animal. And let's see. Come on, Dolly. You're next. Let's go. Did you rub up against the barn? I think you rubbed up against the barn. Who is it going to be? Dolly or Rose? It's going to be Rose. Because she's bossy. Huh. This is another great, great cow right here. She produced Ranger, who is over there on the other side of the fence. But you did a great job. He's on the cusp of being weaned, but he, uh, see, that's him right, right there. He's on the cusp of being weaned, but he's big enough. He's over six months old. That's what we're looking for. And uh, it's time for Rose to focus on herself. And next year's baby, huh? Can you give me another one of those? She could potentially give me 30 just like him. It's funny, Rose's mom. Huh, you good girl? Here, good girl. Okay, okay, easy. Rose's mom actually is a longhorn, full blood longhorn. I believe registered too, um, with no horns. So, one of her babies, it's, they said one out of eight, you know, could be a longhorn with no horns, but we'll see. I prefer the horns because of mountain lions, and that's what I think got why sheep got eaten and not the longhorns, but she could have a baby with no horns. Let's go. Up top. Come on. That a boy. And there's, okay. That's why we call him Bucky. Because he gets any kind of excited. He starts bucking around. He's a steer. And his date is going to come up shortly after Rusty's. So, good job, buddy. You're doing good. You're fat. You're happy. That's what we want in my steers. One bad day, buddy, right? All good days. Look, you're not even stressed out right now. I'm like, hey, can I just go through? Can I go back with my friends? Yeah, no problem. Come on, let's go. Come on. Atta boy. Now this way might not be the quickest. Uh-oh. Hey. Whoa, Nugget. Starting to, you want to, that's, that's your elder there. Okay, I wouldn't mess with her. She, she'll mess back. She's uh, that Skywalker's mommy. He'll come over and whip your butt. He's bigger than you. Now she's the last one. Like I said, this not might not be the quickest way, but talk about. Look, I'm shooting a video while I'm working cows. How many other people can say they can do that? Nobody. Why? Because we have the right cows with the right setup. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. See, she's not, she's not bleeding. So when they rub up against the barn, they'll get red on them. See, she knows where to go. She wants to go with her sister. And now she, I think she's gonna have a calf this year. I think she will. Now, that Skywalker, her calf from last year. But she gets kind of a, a break. Dolly gets a Dolly gets a kind of a pass this year because she came bred to me too young at 13 or 14 months old she was bred um, no not bred she's bred at about six months old and uh, she gave birth right around 14 15 months old well probably 15 months old the math adds up that way um, which is too young which is too young it's just the bull snuck in got her and knocked her up but she she looks like she's pregnant look at that belly they're all in great condition they really are daphne might be you know if i want to get picky about it she can get she might be skinny but look at her she's she's doing good come on now let's go it's okay come on let's get you over there good girl what a good girl you are you're gonna be this easy 
all I have to do is shut this? I think so. Look at this. All I have to do is shut this. Ta-da, cabs are weaned. That's it. Let's take a look at them. Let's go through them real quick. Skywalker, that's him. Rosemary, she's getting huge. Man, she was like 30, I have to look back, I wanna say 37 pounds. All of these average right around, all of them average right around there. Huh? I think that's Ranger. Let's see, I can tell by the spot on his forehead. Nope, yep, that's Ranger. Tex has a spot on his forehead. Easy, buddy, it's okay. Nugget, Tex, and then Joe's on the other side. Not too shabby. We did it. We win calves. Now, now tonight we might hear some bellowing and some yelling and everything, but that was uh, a lot more simple than it seemed. Now all I have to do is uh, come over here, and um, now all I have to do is come over here, drop off a hay bale right in here for these guys, and we're good. Are we happy? Are we happy, huh? Joe's going to be over here joining you soon. I know. Look at this. Horses, longhorns, old barn. How much more uh, Texas can you get than this? This is great. This is why, this is what makes me happy. This is a lot less stressful than I thought it was going to be. I was kind of dreading today. Because it could go really bad, really quickly. Not really bad, but it just could be a lot. That wasn't hard. That was, that was pretty simple. And now we got hay for little ones. And uh, we're good. All we have to do for the, the cows now is water them. You know what? This needs to go. Ah, uh, that's fine. And all right. Can you guys come over here so I can get the llamas? Come on, guys. And that's not going to stay close. Okay. All right, get over there because I still want to try and get the llamas. Come on. Let's go. Everybody goes. Come on. Come on, little guys. Come on. I'm going to be able to gentle you guys down real good, huh? You know, I get to stay close to you and you don't have to worry about your mama's coming over. Come on. Come on. Everybody out. Come on. No. Ranger. Come on. Go ahead. Skywalker, lead him. There we go. Follow Skywalker. There we go. Go. Go ahead. Follow Skywalker. That's my boys. Come on. No, rain. Dex, let's go. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Dex, I need you out of here. I need you out of here. There we go. No. Come on. Go with you. Go. With no, no, no. Go with everybody else. There we go. There we go. Cool. And check it out. I did it off camera, but <clears throat> I was able to do it. Mrs. Robinson is now in with the calves. Elvis and Littlefoot back together by themselves trying to get to her, but they can't. So now we have llamas. We got cows. We got our bull. Couple stairs in there. We got our calves, female llamas, and horses. All, all of them off pasture for the winter. All of them ready to, all of them off pasture for the winter. All of them ready to create some deep bedding. All of them ready to create some compost for us that we can spread out on this pasture. Hopefully very soon, or well, early next spring. Early next spring would be ideal. So now we're just waiting on a water trough to be filled up, and we did it. We did it. A lot less crazy than I thought it was going to be, a lot less stressful. And uh, you got the hay moved. We did it. We did it. Now, time to go do other stuff. So with that, hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment if you like, alright? Till next time. See ya. Bye.